Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm CNT Dynamite, the explosive one, and we're playing Madden 21. Yep. Going against them, them bangies. Yeah, dude, we're brown. The big old bangies. He's got a really, like, shadowed crotch. <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me? Why did your eyes go there? It's me? right in the center Dude, of the screen, Dude, the picture bro. was on the screen for less than half a second. The first, it's like your crotch. What? Dude. No, no. Your crotch is right at you. Not when I looked at first, sir. You're at an angle. I'm straight on to a giant <laughs> darkened bulge, dude. Like you had the you had like the cross look, dude. I was just like, whoa. Oh my gosh, package. dude. I would like to get an eye tracker on you. They like uh when you're looking at a but they'll it'll tell you where your eyes are so i've seen like uh streamer compilations where they'll like put certain images up there turns out that a lot of guys zoom in on guys crotches initially i don't know what it is in our heads but that's like where our eyes go it's like comparing our junk to their junk and you can already guess where it goes to on women like 90 percent of the time Oops. Yeah, yeah we can't help ourselves dude, I don't dude know. it's hard it is really hard it it is hard for me not to look at boobs or butt. Not even gonna lie. I really like this. I really like like yeah. The female form is pretty it's pretty sweet. Yeah. I even know a lot of like straight women that are like, Oh yeah, women bodies are nice. <laughs> yeah. They're nice <laughs> their, to their curves are nice, their skin is soft. I just they're just like I'm just not into women and I'm like, Well, you're lost. <laughs> We're not gonna get into our uh, our coomer bag though, not today. What does that mean? You have to look that one up for yourself. C O O M E R. Uh, but uh, I, I was at the grocery store earlier today. Ooh. And uh, yoga pants, man. Mm. Yeah, that's a good invention. <laughs> it's also a cheat. It's a cheat code. Why is that? Because it holds everything up? Yeah, man. Women are cheating. They're out here cheating. It's all right, dude. I don't mean like cheating on you or cheating on us, as but they're cheating, dude. Oh, look at that effing ish, dude! <laughs> oh, back to reality, you <laughs> son of a poo. Very nice, Johnny. Yeah, um. Took that ball right out of his mitts. Yeah, dude, he was hungry, but I'm hungrier. <laughs> Starving. Oh, about like using all like those like tight shirts and tight pants dude they got waist trainers and body shapers and yoga pants so it was like uh recently there was a yoga pants that amazon was uh selling i believe that were specifically made to just make your your buttocks look better or i wouldn't say yours but i would say a young lady's buttocks well look i better. see they also sell the high-waisted yoga pants that goes up over the stomach Oh yeah, I mean, but yeah. that, that's like kind of like a, a waist trainer built into yoga pants. Yeah, so they'll put like spanks on a girl to like the shape trainers and stuff. And there's like Rihanna has one, and of course the Kardashians do. And there's like a bunch of different variations of these spanks going around. Yeah, and, and I guess like, and I guess my real, <laughs> my real bottom line question is one: Who are you trying to fool? Uh, everybody. Well, but I mean, too, like, it's like if you're if your goal is to like hook up with somebody or whatever, they're gonna find out that you're wearing it anyway. Like, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, why not just like be you? Yeah. <laughs> why not just be? You? Essentially, you're trying to be somebody else. Uh, I mean, no, I mean, you're not trying to be room or just trying to look thinner. Okay. It's definitely, it's definitely a lie. It's an illusion or whatever, but you know, it is what it is. Men, men apparently, so like, this is, it's fairly common amongst like us uh, celebrities to wear these waist trainers and stuff. Like yeah. even well, I mean, male celebrities I definitely celebrities have do. undershirts that are like tight material like that, but they're more like water wicking, like under armor type of undershirt. They're to like, because like. It's hot in Texas, dude. And I don't want to soak through my damn shirt. You would think that if you wanted something to help you out in the heat, you wouldn't want something that's going to, like, chafe your skin, though, dude. But they don't, it, they're really soft. They don't chafe your skin at all. And actually, instead, because, like, I used to wear, um, <laughs> the prop, the name is not proper anymore. Oh, Cotton wife? tank tops. Oh, you're talking about white beaters. Yeah, they're white beaters. <laughs> I used to wear those as an undershirt. But the problem is, they absorb sweat and it doesn't go away. So if that gets wet, it just soaks through your shirt anyway. But if you have on one of those like Under Armour type compression type shirts, make you warm, 
the just doesn't soak up in it. And it, I mean, if you're playing, like when I would go play volleyball, yes, I would sweat through that and my shirt, obviously. But if you're just like out doing something, it's not, it doesn't, I've never had, they don't, they, you don't sweat through. You don't mm. really get like the pit stains. You don't get like, they're actually very helpful. Hmm. And they help keep you cooler because the, you know, the evaporation, you know, that's how sweat works. I don't like confining clothes. I don't know. I'm not a fan of And I don't either, but it's, it's honestly, you don't even really notice it. And I wear them when I go to the gym and stuff too. They're just, I just think it, it helps. It helps from like sweat dripping and stuff too, which is gross. I don't, the only place I really have sweat dripping from my body, I sweat from my forehead and my head more than anything. Dude, I sweat else. a lot. Like, when I work out in ish, dude, like, yeah. I do, too, but, like, I don't know. Like, the sweat on my body never bothers me as much as the sweat on my face. Oh, yeah, because, like, I used, I just remember going to the gym and just, like, if I wouldn't wear a tight enough shirt, like, I'm not, like, wear, like, loose, tight shirts, but you could, like, feel the sweat, like, under your underarms and stuff, and it's just, like, oh, I just hate feeling it, dude. I'm good, dude. That's why I'm, like, let me wear this fuck, fudging, like, water-wicking shirt. It, it, I, I actually don't mind sweating like that. Like, if I'm... If I'm doing something like working out, I I enjoy the sweat only because I'm like hell yeah I'm getting something done. <laughs> yeah. Oh no no no. I like sweating that much. It feels. I don't like feeling the sweat running down my body. Oh, I love it, dude. Yeah. That's it, how you know you're doing it. Yeah. I, I, no no. Worry, there's, I know I'm it's, doing it. It's very situational because like if I'm like at work or something no i don't want to be sweating at work if i'm being intimate with a young lady no i don't want to be sweating all over her. she's going to think it's gross i think it's gross yeah that's yeah. a problem but that gym sweat yo that's yeah, a bad that's happen. a badge of honor with the lady dude it does happen though but then it you're does. like you know i'm working it i'm working if i'm sweating dude oh my god allow me to just go ahead and embarrass the hell out of myself here so i i've <laughs> definitely uh i've definitely been uh intimate with a young lady and uh, I have definitely uh, sweated onto her face. Oh, drip sweat onto her face? Oh, oh yeah, dude. That's we've all done that, bro. In her eye. I try to like. I try to wipe because you can tell when it's starting to yeah. form. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, dude. It's, it's. But then, like, she can see you trying to mitigate it. It's like that's embarrassing, but fam. But you know but, what, dude? You They're know. having a good time too. Yeah, I imagine so. Yeah, I dude, hope so. I, w I mean, no one likes having sweat dripping on their face. Uh! <laughs> But it's part of the act, dude. Like, I guarantee you're not the first dude that's ever sweat on her, and he won't be the last. Anyway, unless, you were, unless you're her husband, and then you will absolutely be her last. Amen to that. Well, I, you know, I just put the shoe on the other foot. I'm like, if I was if I was being intimate with some girl and she sweated on me, I'd be like, pee. <laughs> yeah, right, that's drip like, sweat in my eye. Well, I can't well that's see. what they. That's, that, you, so you would hate it. You would be like, B, you got sweat in my eyes? Well, geez, I, honestly, I, I would probably giggle about it because I'd be like, ha, ha. Yeah, right? Like, well, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, <laughs> you, you're sweating. If some girl is working up a sweat, I'm like, <laughs> heck yeah, girl, you work up that sweat. <laughs> You'd be proud? <laughs> I'm like, girls don't sweat that much, dude. Like, for, uh, like on average, yeah. if you were going to say what's... Oh, wow, that was awesome. If women or men sweat more, most men sweat more than women, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I think that's a hormonal. Yeah. Man. So girl's working up a clean intimacy, her. dude. She's trying. She is, she's giving it her all. Fair enough, man. She's like, ride him cowboy, dude. Whatever. Fair, ride him a, a cowboy. Not ride it cowboy. Yeah. Ride him cowboy. No, there's, there is a difference between ride it cowboy and ride um cowboy. That's, oh, there he goes. If you got a cowboy riding it. That's, you know, that's a problem. Unless you're in the right Cowboys. Oh, yeah, dude, if you're in the Cowboys, dude, you're good to go. Where is my Johnny Wayne? Where is my desert sun? Yep. Where is my happy ending, Joni? Where have all the Cowboys gone? gone. <laughs> yippee yay yippee yay How did that ever become a famous song, dude? <laughs> yippee yay yippee yay I don't know, dude. yippee yay yippee yay yippee yay yippee yay It's a catchy song. It, sta I mean, it stuck with the times. I remember. I'm going to put it on right now. No, we're not putting it on. We'll get TOS. We're probably TOS. I'm sorry. TOS is a switch term. We're probably copyrighted just from singing it. Oh, we're good singers. We sound just like her. You can't say watch. We're going to get a copyright claim on this video. <laughs> I've seen many it's gonna songs. Happen. It's, gonna, it's gonna happen, dude. I mean, but the times are changing, man. They don't like you singing anymore. They put a copyright claim in the upload feature now. Like, oh, do you already have any copyrights? Do you want to stop it before you even start it? Right? And you're like, 
Oh, I don't want to stop it before I start it. Well, you know, the music industry has to protect itself some way, I guess. Man. Uh, yeah. YouTube just wants people to not make money. No, they just don't want you to ever recreate. You know, what's crazy is that that's actually how Justin Bieber got his start was by singing covers, and now you can't sing covers anymore. You like can't. you can't even like sit with a guitar and sing like a cover of a song. Oh man, some of those videos were really good. Like like Justin just Bieber? got a girl or a cover on their guitar or like on a piano or a keyboard or something. Yeah, right. Are you kidding me? And you're like, wow. You're there was this girl I used to watch her YouTube channel. She did heavy metal covers on piano. She would put the metal song on. Oh, dude, it was beautiful. I was like, that's really good. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Like, I don't know how the hell I found it, but I was like, oh, I got to watch this. It was doing, like, doing like Tool? Yeah. Well, no, she would do like Slayer Raining Blood and stuff. She would do like actual death metal. Like... <laughs> yeah, and I don't even, some of the songs I didn't even know, but it was just like how aggressive and fast she was playing the piano. I was like, this is sweet, dude. Yeah, metal's an acquired taste, but definitely, definitely enjoy a little metal. Here I there. respect metal because it is hard as ish to play that fast, that hard, that long. But I, I like, I don't get into songs that I can't understand what the lyricist is saying. Like, so if you have, if you're singing and I can hear you, and you got heavy music, I'm, I'm in, dude. But like, the screaming to scream, I kind of like the screaming to scream. <laughs> It's all right occasionally, but not like if someone else is listening to it, I'm not gonna be like turn this crap off. But I treat I treat uh, heavy I treat like death metal with the same uh, ideal that I would treat like a classical song. It's not about necessarily what they're saying because honestly, they're probably just talking about how Satan, the Dark Lord, is coming to take your soul or some shit stuff. But it's like. It's about listening to the the uh, the music itself, the inflection of his voice. Yeah, dude, it's like playing know. music that, that that playing the music is hard. Double bass pedals do I love a good double bass. Yeah, dude, it's a uh, it's good workout music though. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, dude. it's good mosh music. I don't do mosh pits anymore, but I remember definitely sweating in the mosh pits. Yeah, I uh, just getting some other dude sweat all over me. Yeah, dude, jumping. Yeah, dude, just jumping taking off your shirt and just yeah, a bunch of sweaty bros just <laughs> bro sweating on each other, crashing in the other each other. Yeah, dude. dude, breaking each other's necks, dog. Yeah, dude, pulling out another dude's pants. And <laughs> just, Whoa. I mean, dude, it's a mosh pit, dude. Everything, anything goes. Yeah, dude, just the pants, everyone. Yeah, dude, um, you pull your pants down. He's got his pants I down. He's running around. Say, I don't even remember what it was. Sword now. fighting. <laughs> wow. What? what? kind of concert you've been going to, bro? Yeah, they, uh, yeah, they have swords there. Kendo yeah. sticks. Kendo sticks. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> but then, yeah, dude, like, sometimes when I go to the gym, I'll throw on, like, a death metal album, and it's just like, let's effing go. <laughs> dude, it's, it, like, I, uh, I never, I hadn't listened to a lot of Lamb of God, and I put Lamb of God on at the gym, and I was just like, oh, this is some gym music right here, dude. I was like, <laughs> hell I to the yes. I can see that. I, I, I prefer to listen to uh, probably rap music when I work out, though. I'm not it, gonna lie. It's funny, dude. When, I, uh, I, when, I, when I'm on the treadmill, I like listening to rock. When I'm lifting weights, I like listening to rap. Okay. Yeah, enough. I do. Yeah, absolutely. And then sometimes, like, the death metal was just kind of a newer thing I tried out. And I was like, oh, this is neat. I find that if I'm running... Like, if I'm running, it's better if I have something that has words to it, because then I forget I'm running. Yeah, and I like listening to heavy rock, because the, 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 the fastness of the song, and, like, little rap I listen to anyways, is, like, slow and, like, vibey and shit stuff. So, like, it doesn't really motivate me to run on a treadmill or use a st elliptical or anything, so. I can see that. But then um, you throw on some heavy music, like a nice beat. Like, I, yeah. I find myself getting more like into the lyrics or what the person's actually saying, and then I try to forget that I'm getting tired. <laughs> as weird as it sounds, it's like if I if I'm running and there's nothing, I'm like, all right, I'm running, and I'm thinking, all right, I'm starting to get tired, and then my mind starts saying, all right, I can stop running now. Yeah, and it takes, dude. And, and as soon as you get that idea of I can stop running now, it's there. Well, and then right. it's like, well, just stop running, dude. Your and body's it, like, uh, what are you doing? And it, like, for some reason, running on an elliptical or the treadmill is it time goes by slower than just about anything else in the world. Because it's just like, okay, whew, how long has it been? Oh, six minutes. <laughs> like, oh man, I got 24 minutes left. Four. Dude. 
more of these? Do you ever like close your eyes and try to not look at like yeah, the timer? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you close your eyes and be like, all right, I got 45 seconds left. Close your eyes. All right, it's had to be at least 30 seconds. You look down, it's been 10 seconds. You're like, what the hell? Right, dude. What the hell? Dude, I think I, I don't mind getting my heart going, but like I really, really dislike Ooh. cardio on a machine. It's yeah. just, I just, I can't get into it, dude. Like, that's fair. I mean, I do it. I used to do it when I would go to the gym. I just don't, I just don't like doing it. That's fair. I don't I, think anybody really likes it. I will 100% say is that running outside is uh, easier uh, because, like, there's, there's progression. There's natural progression. It's like, okay, I've been running, but now I'm here versus where I started running at, which was way back there. Right. And then, like, you can even, like, you get a visible finish line to correlate, and it's not necessarily like a clock or a timer. It's like, hey, the finish line oh, is nice. right it around. back to the house. That's the finish line. Yeah, yeah, the finish line is right there. I'm so close. All I got to do is just keep running a little bit longer, and I make it. Not necessarily like I need to go for another 30 seconds. Right, you right, know? exactly. It can be the same distance, but it's yeah, like, you know. like tangible stepping stones. Yeah, 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 and then, yeah. yeah. Like when you're on a treadmill, you're just like, there's the TV at the gym. There's the TV at the gym. There's the TV at the gym. And you're like, oh, my God, please stab me. Yeah. So... Anyways, that's all the time we have for today, Crazy Town. So please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, hit that notification bell. It'll tell you when we do new stuff for Jonas. <laughs> we are out.